with these words, may I please request Ravi Bhatnagar, Director External Affairs and Partnerships, Asia, Middle East, and South Africa from Rekit Ben Kaiser. Over to you, sir, for a brief presentation. Big round of applause, please. Hi, folks. Very good morning. I'm not going to take more than five minutes. Whatever I have to say. Uh, thanks, sir. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thanks, sir. Uh, it's a pleasure coming here for this award ceremony and for this leadership summit. And uh, it was very, very informative, sir, what you spoke uh, since morning. And uh, I follow you very regularly. And some of the best practices which are there in India, I also try to take it to Middle East and uh, South Africa too. Uh, with our total account of budgets, which I see is the 40% of the market is seen by me. Uh, and rest all is, you know, US and uh, UK, which are number one and number two. Number three is India, led by China and then Brazil and others. So uh, the geography is big. And uh, when we were doing this uh, Clean India initiative, uh, you must have heard like it's a Ditol Banega Swachh India campaign, which has several legs to the program. So uh, under the program, like uh, we started discussions with, uh, you know, Ch Chinese premier. And we, we talked to him, like, you know, what we are doing in India. And, you know, he was very, he said, like, I have read it, but, you know, as a company, you come to us independently. So can we do something on the lines of Clean China also now? So you guys must have heard, like, now the Clean China is also happening, and, you know, Clean uh, Bangladesh is happening, and many places, Clean Nigeria and other things. Uh, where we come in picture is basically, like, you know, we strongly believe in uh, brand purpose, national purpose, and the community purpose. Why I stand here is I am not standing because I work as a director and for the Middle East and all this. Why I stand here is I am the voice of the people who are working as my partners in, uh, in the various parts of India, which is uh, I have 30 plus partners in India ranging from uh, bilaterals, multilaterals to uh, you know small NGOs, CBOs and de novo CBOs also. Uh, how we work differently is like, you know, uh, we have moved out of the formats where you have to, this is a template formats, you know. This is a template and you put your proposal and I would like to see the theory of change. We know what is the theory of change, what we would like to change. What we give you is a blank sheet. We say draw your own life, how the project will look like. And definitely we give some inputs uh, based on, you know, our little bit expertise, what we have this in this sector. It's rightly said, like, you know, uh, the work which is given to someone who is expert in that needs to be done by that only. Uh, sometimes we become, you know, uh, so much involved, involvement is good, but uh, what I personally, I have learned is like, you know, NGO world has its own uh, culture, NGO world has its own climate, it, it has its own subculture, there are a lot of things which NGO world come, uh, you know, brings to the table, and uh, it, it's always important to give a year, you know, and, uh, you know, and, and there is a very fine line between uh, the organizations who do the advocacy work and, ad and activism, uh, you know, but definitely both are required in the multiple stages of the project life cycle of the projects. Uh, few people who really inspire me is, uh, you know, I, I would like to actually, you know, acknowledge them. Uh, Mr. Sharma is not here from Danik Jagran. He's 76 years old. But, you know, if, if, if you work with him, uh, you, you, you feel like, you know, uh, plenty to do, plenty of work and, you know, like, you know, how to raise the bar of the work, what you're doing. Um, he was the first one I talked to about, you know, uh, from 93 onwards, we were talking about manual squenges in India. Uh, on our show, manual squenges came uh, with Amitabh Bachchan last year, last to last year. But when they knocked at the doors of various people asking for the help, no one actually came forward. We said, okay, uh, let's do something. Uh, so I had no resources in India because I already exhausted my 2% limit, but is actually given. So I thought, uh, like, there is a global, uh, you know, we had the global challenge fund, but we, but we have inside the company. So there are 10 applications which went, so I was open to, I was uh, basically able to unlock my first 400,000 pounds to actually do work with the manual scrunches and start a college with government of Maharashtra in Maharashtra, in Aurangabad, to have a college where all these guys who are manual scrunches, they are trained, they are employed, and we guarantee employment 100%. So what we say is like, you know, it, 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 it should not be just uh, something where, you know, you are investing something and there are no outputs, there are no outcomes and, you know, it becomes a number 1,000 people trained or 10,000 people trained. So uh, we also are thinking about, you know, how, how there will be changes in their social, uh, you know, lives. Have, have their lives been better? Have, uh, have uh, you know, their personal disposable incomes in increased? 
are they getting the basic you know facilities like they are linked to aadhar the pradhan mantri insurance scheme and the other things and on the top of that like is if there is an increase in their personal disposable income is uh, is it increasing from you know current which is around 3000 per month to 15000 per month can we make something which is the urban clap of uh, all the manual scrangers where all the people are actually enrolled and they are linked to the market so team which works with me you see here dainik jagran ka pehal the initiative so these they have a very young team very young guys you know who work with me and people ask me like you know how many how much degrees matter i say more than degrees it's the attitude which matters so none of them is you know mba from harvard wharton and others like me and many others here what matters is like what's 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 your gut feeling what's your inner strength what is the strength so uh, we work with them very closely and the team has already found the linkages before we have actually rolled out the project so we have seven companies with with with, with whom you know institutional partnerships are signed off and uh, we hope like that will be one thing which will be taking us to the places um one thing which bhaskar chatterji sir said was very right like you know uh, writing checks and uh, differentiating between the work what you are doing for the brand and what you are doing for the marketing and work working for the csr uh it's very very important component so as soon as you give you know leave it to your marketing managers to jump in and they start telling you we have the slow moving inventory and can we park it into the csr sir we have very uh, very dedicated resource who are who is our chartered uh, you know this sorry this company secretary manoj you may be knowing so he always stands on all these things and he takes a very tough stand like you know no in inventories should be liquidated from the process of this 2% you know spending it has to go to the communities it has to be going to the people if this can bring some transformational change that is great it's great to learn from you about you know the passion you speak from sir and uh, that you talked about the dojo on sustainability index so we are also a part of the dojo on sustainability index Uh, i am very proud like the work which we do with various partners in india uh, Sh shweta shalini ji sitting at back who actually advises government of maharashtra uh, we are starting something which is working with the village transformation society working with the 1000 villages in uh, uh, maharashtra and working on various things like you know how wash can actually uh, you know decrease the stunting how wash can actually decrease the wasting how wash can actually improve the nutrition how there can be reduction in the infant uh, you know uh, uh, this thing deaths uh, can we improve the status of uh, women in those 1000 villages um, there is plenty what we do i can't summarize it in uh, you know 2 3 minutes so we'll uh, we'll thank you again uh, to the organizers you have called me several times but i feel privileged to come here this time reason being like you know the work what you guys are doing is really exciting me and my company and we look forward like you know we will be doing the great things together i am open for the discussions and other things there's plenty about us which is there on the website social media you all have phones you raised your hands just read it out and uh, we are there maybe like you know if we are not able to foster the partnership in 2018 but you know it's a road map for us also a journey road map where we can actually go with you in 2019 2022 because for us maybe like you know there are some company changes happening or you know the merger acquisitions which we do but this is something which you have given us as a gift and we very very welcome this step and this is really transformational and you know uh i have a very interesting journey which i i will take one minute to tell i was with the world bank as a young uh, professional sir which when i joined so there are young two or three young professionals every year which are selected by the bank so i started from there went to hillary clinton worked with her on drug access programs globally and uh, on the you know price reduction of hiv and hcv medicines and my my earlier role was actually lobbying against this pharma companies so from there i landed into you know this company which is working on detol harpic and many other things basically making the lives better and uh, my single contribution which i say which is the biggest one is like you know my company has a purpose tent now like people comes from the iims and uh, you know iits and ivy league b schools it's not the sales stint and it's not the marketing stint from there they start with it's a purpose stint which is two months purpose stint they do with me they have the projects for the nation building they can choose the things and we call it the maverick challenge so the maverick challenge also we started with one country and now it is in the 20 countries across the world and we see the power of india and uh, sabka saath sabka vikas by this i would like to uh, say thank you thank you so much thank you very much for such an insightful thoughts and the last punch was very 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 inspiring sabka saath sabka vikas envisioned by the honorable prime minister please give him a big round of applause thank you, thank you so much thanks